Hello my dear Swift learners how are you all I hope that you all are very safe and sound at your homes and today I'm back for you bringing with me another new session So today we are going to study about lights and before starting we will be seeing what is Swift learn all about SwiftLearn is India's most sincere learning destination wherein you get the classes for grade 1 to grade 10. Here we have interactive classes in which every batch contains 6 students up to maximum and also apart from teachers you will be having academic mentor team so these team members will be helping you and will be guiding you throughout your sessions and will be tracking your progress. Also we cover the syllabus as per school exam schedule so that you can perform well there also. Apart from these things there are some of the key features of Swift Learn which makes it all the more special. So these include detailed progress report. So by the end of every 2 to 2 and a half month you will be getting a detailed progress report which will be a kind of detailed analysis of all the things that you have been doing. then you can also participate in swift learn academic test series which uh, in which you can see where do you stand and what are the things that you need to improve plus you can take unlimited practice tests which are available on the swift learn portal and in these tests there are two categories subjective and objective so subjective test will further help you in your school exams so what are you waiting for guys just book your free trial class and have this amazing experience of classes at swift learn please subscribe to the channel of swift learn and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any update of the chapters going on here all right so coming back to our chapter we are going to learn about light energy today in which we will be focusing on light plane mirror and terms of reflection of light so let's get started So what's happening is today is Rohan science class at Swift Learn. He kept his book in his room, but uh, you know it's very dark in his room, and he is not able to find his book. So, what his mother tells that please switch on the light. And as soon as he switches off the on the light, he finds the book. So what happened? And why is it difficult to find anything without light? and what is light so all these answers we are going to see in our further chapter so light it is a form of energy which enables us to see the objects okay and this energy it is present all around us and we are going to learn about this so if i talk if i tell you to look around yourself you will be observing variety of things right but how are you able to observe these things why are you able to observe these things obviously your answer will be through our eyes but is the presence of eye soul enough no we also need light to see the objects we see objects because of the presence of light now what is light it's a form of energy which enables us to see the objects Now if suppose you are in a dark room okay will you be able to see any object even if you obviously if we have eye no why because only by the eye it is not possible unless and until there is a good source of light available without light we cannot see anything now how are we able to see the things and what happens when light falls on any surface So whenever a ray of light follows a straight line path and it strikes or hit any object three things happen and these three things are reflection absorption and transmission so these three phenomena occur and we are going to study about each of them one by one so through the pictures you can see that reflection is just going again of the uh, ray absorption is being absorbed by the object and transmission is passing through the object So reflection of the light it is defined as the bouncing back of light into the same medium after striking the surface see if this is a particular surface the light ray striking here okay and then it is bouncing back at same in the same medium that is what is known by known as reflection so 
to know the reflection of light we will take a simple example of ball which is hit on a surface so if we throw a ball on a surface what will happen the ball will bounce back at the same angle through it at which it strikes the surface and same happens with the light ray when it strikes any object okay now light energy it is a type of kinetic energy which with the ability to make types of light visible to human eyes so it is a kind of electromagnetic radiation which is emitted by objects like laser bulbs sun etc now let us see the uses of light energy so first of all it is a form of electromagnetic radiation okay that can be seen by human eye and there are many commercial and scientific uses of light energy one of the most biggest uses food so the plants can make food just because of the light energy so it is the only source of food generation for all living organisms okay we all are dependent on the plant somehow and every organism it is dependent on light okay for their energy and food uh, except there are some chemotrophic bacteria that do not actually need the light next is vision so we are just able to view the objects around us due to presence of i and i uh, is of like we won't be able to see any object um, when we just have i but not the light okay so i and light both are equally useful so the i receive the image when light falls on any object and this information is sent to brain and our brain processes okay and hence this is how light enables us to see the objects around us next is the colors so our world earth is very very beautiful right because of presence of various colors here and all these colors are again possible just because of light so our light consists of many spectra and all these spectrum they have individual colors okay we have also uh, seen rainbows right so we have this vibgyor color so the spectra and individual color in this spectra it is uh, specified as vibgyor dispersion so dispersion of light uh, through prism we are going to see so prism is a kind of triangular 3d object okay which disperses which scatters this light into its component colors so if we take any light source and if we pass that light through prism what will happen that light will be scattered into its component colors and that phenomena is known as dispersion now talking about reflection of light so what is the reflection and what are the various terms first of all which are related to reflection so as we saw reflection is the bouncing back of light in the same medium when it hits any surface okay and some of the important terms which are related to reflection of light it is first of all incident ray so incident ray is the ray that is reflecting on any surface that is coming on to any surface okay so it is the light a ray of light incident on surface for example here it, sorry here there is a source of light let's say tube uh, tube light or maybe bulb or anything so light is coming from here and it is striking a mirror or any particular surface so this ray it will be known as incident ray then we have reflected ray so reflected ray is uh, i'm sorry point of incidence it's incidence okay so point of incidence is the uh, point where the reflecting surface where the light is uh, incident okay so this particular point where incident ray strikes any object it is known as point of incidence then we have reflected ray so reflected ray is that ray which comes from that surface after reflection to so, jo reflection ke baad jo ray aati hai that is known as reflected ray and normal so what is normal it is the perpendicular line at the reflecting surface okay so normal actually divides the angle of incidence and angle of reflection right so normal it is the perpendicular which you can see over here this is the perpendicular okay at the surface the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are with respect to normal and the reflective surface so let's take an example if this is my surface okay and this is the normal right so angle of incidence and angle of reflection will be with respect to these two things so this will be this will become angle of incidence 
and this will become angle of reflection okay now talking about angle of incidence so it is the angle which is formed between, between incident ray and the normal so if this is our surface this is our normal okay and the light ray is falling here so this will be angle of this particular will be angle of incidence okay it is represented by angle r okay so the angle formed between incident ray this is incident ray and the normal at point of incidence this particular it is known as angle of incidence next is angle of reflection so this angle it is formed between normal and ang uh, reflected ray okay so uh, suppose this is normal and this is reflected ray so this particular angle it will be angle r and if i draw your ang uh, angle of incidence also so this will be angle i okay so this is a pictorial representation incident ray normal reflected ray and this becomes angle of incidence between normal and incident ray and this be becomes angle of reflection between normal and reflected ray so let us uh, recall whatever we have studied so laws of reflection uh, it says that reflection it follows a kind of certain rules okay so what are the lo uh, laws of reflection first angle of incidence it will always be equal of equal to angle of reflection let's say if angle of incidence is 30 degree reflection angle will be also 30 degree so they are both equal next is the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal they all lie in the same plane okay so let's take its uh, uh, one plane okay so this particular plane it will contain all the three things angle of incidence angle of uh, reflection and uh, the normal to the point of incidence now time for some fun facts so goldfish uh, it can see infrared radiation and these are not visible to humans next talking about some animals that can pick up ultraviolet rays uh, these are bees birds and lizards now photography means writing with light so it was english astronomer john herschel whose father discovered infrared and coined the term photography the golden hour which is just after the sunrise and before sunset it obviously produces very beautiful shadows and very beautiful colors which are apt for photographs now challenge of the day says we consider moon as non luminous object non luminous means which doesn't have light of its own and we can still see the light uh, things on full moon night why because the moon uh, has the light of the sun that is moon gets the light which is uh, coming from the sun and that is how because of that reflected right light we are able to see the objects let's do an activity to see whatever we have learned if a perpendicular were to be drawn on reflecting surface it would be called normal the angle made between incident ray and normal at the point of incidence it is angle of incidence and the third question says according to law of reflection the angle of dash so it is angle of incidence it is equal to angle of reflection cool so what are the things that we have learned today we learned about light plane mirror then some of the terms of reflection of light so it was a very very easy and a quick chapter i hope that you might have understood everything that we have studied in this particular part i will be bringing more parts for you in which we will be learning more about light energy so let's meet in the next class till then keep learning and also book your free trial class on swiftlearn hurry up